Now, the city of Zaporizhia is reeling once more from a Russian missile attack that hit a hotel, which also served as a children's day camp. Two missiles struck on Thursday, just an hour after the children left for the day. As Nick Payton Walsh reports, one of the strikes was caught on video. The first strike brought horror. A Riverside hotel struck. This man with his family strolling in a Zaporizhia park at 7.20 Thursday evening. Terror, then another roar. The sun spots it first. As though the hotel they targeted where a kid's camp had ended just an hour earlier needed to be hit twice. Imagine how the children in the hotel pool felt. Dozens of guests injured, one dead, who did not walk away. This is how it looked before the two Iskander missiles hit, a pool and playground in the car park. A Russian official then declared all hotels in the city to be targets, saying they're full of Ukrainian soldiers. In the hours after, sirens sounded in Kiev as Ukraine only managed to take down one of four hypersonic Kinjal missiles. Officials saying another target was an F-16 training facility in the west. These nightly strikes, Russia's response to the pressure on the southern front, where Friday importantly small gains were claimed. President Zelensky has urged patience and Friday moved to steady a slow moving ship firing the heads of regional military recruitment after a series of corruption scandals, replacing them with wounded veterans. Warriors who have lost their health, limbs, but maintain their dignity and don't have cynicism can be trusted to run the system. Nick Payton-Walsh, CNN, Dnipro, Ukraine.